Today we're going to be talking about sealed product and singles that I currently have my eye on that I'm either I've already picked up or I'm in the process of picking up uh, for this month. So I just wanted to share some of these with you guys. So a little bit. So it's not like delayed. Like oh I I picked these up last month. Like no this is what I'm getting now. So um, starting off with some Crown Zenith uh, booster bundles. Not the maybe not the best like etbs i probably would lean towards a little bit more but when you start looking at the packs um i i do like the booster bundles um honestly and these are six packs for booster bundles these are, these are available for pre-order um currently best buy has the best price uh, for these pre-orders they have a release date of not till october uh, which contradicts with uh, gamestop which i'll show you in a second but you're getting six packs uh for you know that comes out to just under four dollars a pack which isn't the best when you consider the sam's club um sky and sea boxes but i haven't been able to get my hands on those so um definitely picking up a few booster bundles now these are available from gamestop as well they have a different release date on here they're saying 920 and their price is a little bit more um so not the best deal from gamestop i'd probably go with um best buy personally but when you start to look at uh, what you get from an ETB, you only get 10 packs from an ETB. You do get the promo, but the promo is not really worth anything. And you're going to pay 50 bucks. So uh, you can get 12 packs for a little bit less than 50. So uh, currently, uh, per pack price, the uh, the booster bundles are kind of what I'm eyeing. Um, it does kind of seem like this might be our last chance at ETBs for Crown Zenith for a while, possibly. Um, but uh, you can't go wrong with either. Um, ETBs probably will age a little bit better, but I do like the booster bundles. So that's kind of, since they're available for pre-order and they're a good price, I'm picking up some of those. Um, next up, I did talk about this set um, a little while ago, but I am getting some uh, Stellar Crown booster boxes. Um, I have more than a case coming. Um, I got a case to keep sealed. Um, I would like to get more, honestly, but uh, sadly I am not made of money. Um, so uh, I got a case for the sealed collection and then uh, I think an ETB and a booster box to open. So um, if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know my thoughts on this set, I do think that this has the potential to be a solid set and uh, the rainbow borders on the Terrapagos, you know, I see some potential there. Um, we're seeing a lot of sales on TCG player for this set. So people seem to be excited about it. Um, 107. 106 right on tcg player but where i got mine was uh this is forge and fire gaming uh, i've purchased from them before if you're not familiar um haven't had any issues with them i'm not sponsored or anything i, I have no affiliation with them but just wanted to share where i got my stuff from um they have individual boxes at 98 dollars uh or if you want to get a case 569 for a case if you want to double box it it's a little bit more expensive um throw in an extra 10 bucks they'll put the case inside another box so you can keep that uh box the case uh from getting damaged in shipping um so yeah that's where i'm at with uh with the stellar crown pretty excited about it personally so um next up another i just wanted to bring up um 151 japanese again i still think so this is sneaker dunk if you guys aren't familiar um they're kind of like a middleman service uh reseller for japanese stuff anyways they authenticate and ship you the boxes from whoever the seller is so they're a third party and 60 dollars a box it actually turns out to be if you're buying around 10 uh, it ends up being around 68 dollars a box which is still cheaper than what you can get them on ebay for and i have only gotten a real authentic boxes from sneaker dunk so um, i have purchased from them once again not sponsored or affiliated with sneaker dunk in any way but just wanted to it's just another you can't go wrong at this price with 151 japanese um yeah still still a great buy um still trying to just slowly just keep adding more to my sealed collection there next up is something that i haven't really touched on the channel on and i just was thinking about this a little bit today um I don't have any of these in hand currently, but I'm picking some up. Uh, and I have ripped one of these before, and but I was I ripped this like when they first came out when some of the sets weren't like Fusion Strike wasn't considered a good set, and and I 
you know, I went back and I wanted to take a look at these. And I'm still surprised, actually, at this price point that these are still available in the 140s. Just because of the, the packs that you get, this is going to end up, like, years down the road, this box. You know, the promo cards probably won't re ever have too terribly much value to them. Um, they are beautiful artworks, but the packs, this is like the all-star, the sword and shield all-star box. Um, it's kind of how I view it. So, um, I just wanted to bring this up again, as I do think even in the 140s, it's a good pickup if you're going to hold this long term, uh, because of the packs that are in there now. And we'll, we'll jump into that. But, uh, at one point these were selling for more, these, these have already sold for 160. People were buying them and they are still to be had in the 140s. So, um, that's why I like, obviously would have loved to have been getting these sub 100. Um, I did not, um, you know, guilty. I can't, you can't pick up everything. You can't get every sealed product, right? So, um, this is one that I passed on that I'm kind of regretting and I think has a lot of upside, but if you want to look at the packs, um, so obviously the promo cards, you know, everything, the mat's cool. It's, it's all nice. The sleeves are nice, but three evolving skies, Three Fusion Strike, Vivid Voltage, eh, Darkness of Lines, eh. Uh, you can't see back here, but I believe this is three Lost Origin, three Silver Tempest, and two Brilliant Stars. So from this box, you could you could potentially, not that it's going to happen, but you could go for the Gengar alt, the Moonbrion, the Giratina, the Lugia, the Charizard V, like... <sighs> So that's why um, this box will do well long term, and I know it's had its run up, but I still think there's tons of room on it personally. Um, yeah, it they are they're big and bulky, and unfortunately they're a little hard to store, and so that's kind of why I've avoided them because I am limited on space currently. So that's kind of why I'm you know not looking forward to storing those, but I just wanted to bring those up, give the the uh, Charizard UPC some some love uh next up we're going to just touch on some singles uh now these aren't necessarily the bet like i'm not saying that this is the best by any means uh the most uh, investability or the most upside potential these are just what i've been picking up okay and i do think that they're at good prices so this is a card that i've always liked gen one okay love gen one uh the b drill i think is underrated undervalued from astral and looking at the chart, um, and I've said this before, a lot of alt arts, the charts look similar. They had their run up, they ran back down, and then they kind of are starting to level out or bounce back off of those bottoms. And at one point, you know, this was about 50 bucks for this card. It's come all the way down to sub 30, right? And it's bouncing up, a, up again a little bit. Um, so yeah, just under 30 bucks. Now for me, um, with some of these, with this card in particular, I just picked this up in a PSA 10 um, on eBay. Got a really good price on it, so uh, I just think it just seemed like a good buying opportunity for some of these alts, right? Um, so yeah, I scooped up the Beedrill. Just wanted to share share with you guys what I'm what I'm doing. Um, next up, I, I've beaten this one to death, um, but the, I just going to touch on it real quick. The Charizard V from Brilliant Stars. Uh, it's the same thing. It's bottoming out at that at this price point here um if we pull up the chart out a little bit bigger right it was sub just about 200 bucks and it's kind of leveled out um and kind of rose risen up a little around 125 bucks essentially and it's kind of seen that bottom and it just it's just it just seems too cheap to me I, i've i'm sorry if you guys watched the other videos where i was hounding on this it's too cheap it's too good um I have multiple copies now, like, yeah, it's just too good. Um, next up, we're going to touch on a uh, Paradox Rift card here. Now, this one, the chart doesn't look quite as good. It looks like it's still kind of on the way down, um, but this is another uh, alt or SIR that I, I just picked up in a PSA 10. I saw it on eBay, threw an offer out, got accepted, um, so just got it for a good price. Uh, stunning card in person um, you know once again these aren't like these are just the cards that I'm picking up like these ones the Beedrill the Altaria and some of these next ones that you're gonna see 
they're more of just for my collection. They're never going to leave my collection. But I, I just saw um, a buying opportunity that I thought was a good price point. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, similar run-ups on these. It was, yeah, 45 bucks. about. Kind of, it's, it's leveling out. So, um, yeah, indicated a good buying point. And, yeah, so picked this one up in a PSA 10. Now, this Starmie... Um, I did pick this card up, um, not in a PSA 10, um, I, it was raw, um, and yeah, just, it was, uh, it's a little bit OC, but, um, just picked it up for another great deal on eBay, just kind of sniped it, um, kind of same thing, same chart, right, but we're starting to bounce back off 40, it's 46, we're getting up to 47, $48 now on the, on the Starmie V with the Misty, um, I don't know what this card is going to do. I don't think it's going to make the card move, but the uh, voice actress who played Misty uh, just passed away, so uh, unfortunately sad there. I uh, don't know if that's going to make this card move. Um, I, I picked it up right before she had passed. Um, yeah, and mine was, I believe I picked this up for around 35 um, So once again, great card, brilliant card. Um, love Misty, love Starmie. Um, but yeah, just saw a price point that I couldn't pass up. Um, I need this card in a 10 as well. So I kind of wish I would have gotten it in a 10. Um, but for now it is what it is. Um, can't, you know, can't always be buying everything you want all the time. Uh, unfortunately. So this is one where I sacrificed and I got a raw copy. Uh, next up, I talked about this, uh, in the silver, uh, so we touched on a silver tempest and a paradox video a little bit. Um, and I touched on this card. I thought that, uh, I like this artwork. I like the trainer flying. I like the, the Blaziken super cool pose, right? The VMAX, uh, just same thing that I've been telling you guys ran up, came down. It's stabilizing at around 10 bucks. Um, saw a good buying opportunity. So I picked this card up in a PSA 10. It's not super valuable in a PSA 10, but just another one that I wanted to add to my collection. It's never coming out. Um, so just, yeah pick that one up just wanted to share um share it with you guys it seems like there's lots of buying opportunities presenting themselves now i will this next card as of the recording of this video i do not own this card but before this video goes live uh, probably have scooped this one up um so similar chart same story different day right um 50 bucks it peaked up and it's kind of leveling out around 34 uh, so I'll be picking this up, uh, probably in a 10, I'm not sure, 10 or raw, um, yeah, right after I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna be, before it uploads, uh, probably have secured this card already, so, um, yeah, this is my last, my last one that I'm, I'm touching on, um, yeah, it's just the same thing, so it looks like a good buying opportunity, uh, love Rayquaza, love the pose, the trainer, great looking card, um, so yeah, super excited to add all these uh, to my collection. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to do, um, I don't normally do videos like this. So let me know in the comments if you guys liked this. I'm kind of, I try to be as transparent as possible with the channel and just try and show you like this stuff isn't weeks old, months old, right? Um, this is stuff that I just picked up and I haven't even picked up yet and I'm working on picking up. Um, because the, at the reality, the reality of it is at the end of the day, um, and I'm assuming most of you guys are not made of money, just like me. Uh, I have to be careful about what I spend on for sealed for singles. I want to keep growing my collection. Um, but I can't, I can't just get every chase card. I can't get cases of every single set. Um, it just doesn't always work out that way. So I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm prioritizing my money currently so um yeah yeah that's that's pretty much it uh i feel like we covered a pretty wide variety and affordability from those crown zenith boosters um all the way up to booster box cases of stellar crown into some singles um that were pretty affordable the blaziken was like what 10 bucks um so yeah wide variety of cards at a wide price point um so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys just do something a little different today um, if you're this far in the video, 14 minutes in, 
and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. Um, so do me a huge favor, go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Um, it would mean the world to me. And then leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you let me know if you're picking up any of these products, uh, sealed or singles. And uh, yeah, I do daily Pokemon collecting and investing content. Uh, yeah, every single day I've been doing a video. So um, appreciate all your support, everyone out there. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.